outline how awakening in this trillium work typically unfolds and progresses in five distinct stages. But I also want to say, I'll be talking about them in kind of a linear fashion. They tend to have a linearity for most people, but there's always a little bit of maybe two steps forward, one step back, where we can move between different stages. Um, and that's okay. It's just, it's, I'll talk about them in order, but if the order might be somewhat um, modified for you. But one of the first stages of this awakening is what we refer to as the unraveling of fixing and seeking strategies. Um, even just a few years ago, we were mostly referring to this as the rot. It's a time where we, this fixing, controlling strategies that we've used to try to keep us feeling safe and productive and maybe even bring us to awakening, we begin to find that they aren't as useful as we thought they were. So either the strategies of either trying to fix, control, figure out, conquer those strategies, or the other strategy that we often use on our path to awakening is to try to escape the limits of being human or try to transcend them, to use a kind of spiritual bypassing where we pull away from the fundamental feeling of I'm not okay. So that either fixing, controlling, or kind of escaping. Those are two common strategies that we use especially um, in our goal of reaching an awakened life. And in this path, we begin to get offer a teaching that these kind of strategies aren't effective and that we need to let go of them. And the transition from gazing and just sitting with teachers, mentors, and other participants on this path and receiving the transmission activates a kind of unraveling process. So this um, letting go of these strategies can feel very disorienting, mm. just unstabilizing. And so where the role of trust can fit into this particular stage of our awakening is just a trust in the teaching. And we begin to trust that this unraveling is actually an indication that we're on the path as opposed to an indication that we've fallen off the path. And so in this case, our trust can feel more like a surrender. Our inner conditioning might be telling us to hold on to the old strategies. And parts of us then are struggling to hold on to the old strategies. And so this letting go can feel disorganized, um, dysregulated, and we might feel like we can't find an internal place of trust. And so that is where it requires a surrender to the teaching, a surrender to the company of teachers and mentors and participants who have gone through this passage before. In my own life, I did have a sense that I needed to be with a teacher that I could trust could be like a lifeline for me. I was afraid that these, um, this kind of rotting, this kind of dismantling, this unraveling, that nothing of me would be left, that my sense of self would be annihilated, and that if, if I just completely dropped out of all the mental constructs that I had created to run my life. And so I really need, did need to um, trust that a teacher could be my lifeline. And so I transferred trust to another that felt very trustworthy. And with that transfer of trust, I did find myself able to um, allow for that disorienting passage of unraveling.